This is the scale of the universe, and this is its end. But is there something else behind this invisible barricade that we think is the end zone of our universe? The observable universe is a term for a ball-shaped region of the universe comprising all matter that can be observed from Earth, its space-based telescopes and exploratory probes at the present time. The observable universe shows Earth in the middle of the sphere and from one side to the other is currently over 93 billion light-years in size. All we have ever discovered in space is in this place every planet, every star, every black hole, and every galaxy. The galaxy GNZ11 was the oldest, youngest, and most distant galaxy ever identified, until scientists recently discovered another galaxy being more distant than GNZ11. This galaxy is over 100 million light-years more distant than the other one, the HD1 galaxy is 13.5 billion light-years from the Earth and is believed to be a high redshift galaxy. Revealing this galaxy was not easy. A researcher, Yuchi Harikane, found this mysterious galaxy in more than 700,000 objects in the Sextans constellation. The observation time took 1,200 hours using four powerful optical and infrared telescopes. This galaxy is extremely red in color due to its redshift, a very old light that is stretched over time as it travels through space, and we can say that the galaxy is missing all of its short wavelength light. HD1 was formed only 330 million years after the Big Bang, which makes it very interesting. Studying ancient objects like HD1 can help fill in long-standing gaps in our knowledge, allowing us to finally see exactly how the universe transitioned from a formless expanse of churning plasma into the familiar arrangements of galaxies, stars and planets that grace the sky. However, there is a big chance that there is a younger galaxy behind the galaxy HD1 that we are simply not capable of seeing. Or the HD1 galaxy does not exist anymore as light from it travels 13.5 billion light-years. Now, let's have a look at what we think is the end zone of the observable universe. Basically, the universe is divided into two parts, the observable and the actual universe. The light horizon, as we call it, is the end zone of the observable universe. The light horizon, also called particle or cosmological horizon, is the maximum distance from which light from particles could have traveled to the observer in the age of the universe regarding the laws of physics. But what is hiding behind this invisible barricade in the actual universe? Well, there are actually three possible solutions to this unusual question. The universe goes on the universe is infinite, or the universe ends at this point. Outside the observable universe, there could be more galaxies, stars, and other celestial objects that we can't see right now. They are simply too far away for us to see with our current technology. These regions are beyond the reach of our telescopes due to the limitations of the speed of light and the age of the universe. Our vision is simply limited, and it is quite awesome that we can see that far away with our telescopes and other devices. However, not with our own eyes. The furthest object we can see in the sky with the naked eye is the Andromeda galaxy being two and a half million light years away. We can see this galaxy as a little dot similar to a star as viewed from the Earth. Now let's have a look at the furthest points of the observable universe. Over time, space has been expanding, 
and the distant objects that gave off their light 13.5 billion years ago have since moved even farther away from us. Today, those distant objects can be a bit more than 46 billion light years away. That's why the diameter of the observable universe is 93 billion light years and not 27 billion. This is because of the expansion of the universe called the Big Bang. Everything in the universe is constantly expanding at a very fast pace and we can never reach it. Like for example the end of the observable universe. Even if we had a spaceship as fast as the speed of light, we could never reach them. That's because they are traveling faster than the speed of light. The farther away a galaxy is from us, the faster it will appear to recede away from us. This shows up when we look at the colors of the stars present within the galaxy, as well as the emission and absorption lines inherent to the galaxy itself. They'll appear to be systematically shifted towards the red, as a red-shifted galaxies. The universe isn't getting to any form. Basically, the space between galaxies is getting wider and longer. So the answer to why we don't know what is hiding behind the end of the observable universe is quite scary, but also logical. You know, speculations about such things do not provide answers, but generate more and more questions. Now, let's have a look at what was there before the Big Bang itself. Before time and matter. Before us. We will have a look at the oscillating universe theory, a theory that suggests that our universe grows and then shrinks, growing in all matter and energy. The model assumes that our universe is just one phase in an endless cycle of expansion and contraction. It assumes that there is no end and no beginning. Each cycle begins with the Big Bang. Then, there is a long period of expansion that is getting quicker until it gets to a certain point where it slows down. Then, the expansion stops and reverses. The universe begins to contract, which eventually leads to Big Crunch. A hypothetical scenario for the ultimate fate of the universe. All energy and matter are squeezed into a singular point of infinite density, very similar to the beginning of the Big Bang. However, this is not the end of the universe, but the beginning of another cycle. The singularity explodes, and the cycle goes on. The lifetime of one cycle can be up to trillions of years. So at that time, humanity is not guaranteed to exist. Even our home planet is not guaranteed to exist, and neither is the sun. Thank you for watching our channel, and we look forward to seeing you again.